In Edge Elastic, you can choose from our pre-built assessments or to create an assessment using a PDF, our item bank, and authoring items yourself. To create a test using the item library, simply navigate to the item bank, set your filters, or search for tags. Choose the items you wish to use, and try using the collections field to search for Edge Elastic Certified. Edge Elastic Certified consists of items created from content writers, different state department of education, and websites like Illustrative Mathematics or Engage New York. Be sure to preview the questions prior to adding them to your test to ensure they match your expectations. You can also choose to create questions from scratch and we'll find our 50 plus question types here. On a question type, enter in or copy and paste question text and then enter the answer choices and the correct answer. When you enter in your question, you'll notice a text editor box will pop up. Here you can format, add in videos, math formulas, images, or even add a link. Once you complete that, preview it as student, or go to metadata and add in your skills, depth of knowledge, difficulty level, and a topic tag to make this easier for colleagues and other Edge Elastic users to find your content. Now that I've added some questions to my test, I could put on the finishing touches. I'll click on the new test button at the top right and give my assessment a name. I'll give it a description and my grades and subjects are already populated based on the questions that I chose. I can add a tag if I wish and this will make it easier for my colleagues to find my assessment based on the topic rather than searching by a particular standard. Next, you can choose to add more items to your test or skip straight to the review screen. In the review screen, you'll have the opportunity to change the orders of the questions and to remove questions as needed. You can check the assessment for accuracy by clicking on expand rows to see the entire question and what the correct answers are. Collapse rows again to give you a condensed view at the questions on your assessment. Give you a student a try to check the test and make sure it meets your expectations. You can even change the image in the top right corner as needed. The next tab is called settings. This is where the premium users will select their extra options for how this assessment is going to be seen by students. Some of these options include shuffling questions, shuffling answers, adding calculators, and even adding passwords. When you're selecting these options for your assessment, you might want to keep in mind the type of assessment that you are assigning. If it's a final exam or a chapter test, you might want to keep the answers and the scores hidden until you're ready to release them. On the other hand, if it's a homework assessment, immediate feedback might be valuable as well as using a calculator. At the bottom here, you're able to change the performance bands and standards-based grading scale as needed. This information is generally set up by the district ahead of time and they will allow you to change the bands as needed. Scrolling back up to the top here, you also have advanced options. In these advanced options, you'll see student player skins that will allow you to change the way the assessment looks. This is where you can choose to have the visual of your own state test. In accessibility, you'll have the option to choose to add a magnifier for students and to add a scratch pad. When your assessment is ready, you can publish the assessment by clicking the publish icon here. Once you publish the assessment, you have the options to share it, whether you're sharing it with everyone, just your district, the school, or if you wanted to share it with individuals. Once you've chosen who to share it with, simply click the assign button to begin the assigning process. Find our pre-built content, navigate to the test library. Similar to the item bank, select the filters you need and use collections or tags as needed. You can preview the test or assign it right from the assessment card. You can also choose more if you wish to clone the assessment to modify it for students with accommodations, to delete it if it's your own assessment, or to view the details of that assessment, including the questions and that review screen that we looked at previously when creating our test. For more information about modifying assessments or using SnapQuiz, 
please find the links in the description below. Now that you have your first assessment, the next tutorial will walk you through the options you have for assigning that assessment.